Hi guys, welcome to this video in the series Java Tutorials for Beginners. In this video we're going to be looking at for loops. What exactly is a for loop? A for loop is something that you can use in Java to iterate or um, repeat over a certain process or a certain method or some kind of an action. Let's start by um, writing out another method here. We're going to have public void print numbers. And we're going to have a for loop inside here now. So we start with for, open uh, open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. This represents the for loop then. So we've got for, we're going to have a condition within these uh, parameter here. So we're going to have some code in there. And this opening curly brace and closing curly brace, the contents of that is what would be repeated on each iteration. Let's start the for loop with int i equals zero. So that's how we're initializing. We're initializing the for loop with a variable i and we're initializing it with a value of zero. The next thing we need to say is where should the for loop go up to? When should it stop? So we want to say as long as i is less than 10. So we can say anything, we can say i is um, uh, less than or equal to or you know more than or whatever, but we're gonna say less than 10. Then we need to say, um, on each iteration, how much should i change by? So we can just say, on each iteration, we want i to go up by one. So basically, what we want to do in this in this uh, method print numbers is to print out a list of values in the terminal window from zero to nine. What we can do here is say i plus plus, and that basically means that i will increase by one each time. If you use minus minus, that's saying that it decreases by one each time. Inside the for loop now, so inside the method, inside the for loop body is, as we said, what's going to be run every time. We'll say system dot out dot print line. So this is to print it out to the uh, terminal window again. So we're going to print out simply i. So this is going to print out the value. Let's look at this for loop then. So it's going to say for int i, let's actually run it first. So let me just close this and let's just run this as it is. So let's call the print numbers method. And we can see here in the terminal window, we've got zero to nine. So if I just move this out of the way and let's go back into the class again, let's have a look at this method now for int i equals zero. So we've initialized i to zero, as we've said. So our first i here is going to be zero. On the second iteration, it's it's gone to the top again and, and we've said now i is increased by one. So we've increased i by one, so now i from zero, i is now one. And i, if i is one, so we're saying here one is less than 10, that's true. So then you can run the for loop body. And we keep going around exactly the same process until we get to um, nine. So we're at nine, so i is nine, after we've added here, we've we said i plus plus, so i is now nine. Nine is less than ten, so it's true. It runs it. It then goes back to the top again, and we add another one to um, to i. So i now becomes ten, but this won't be true because ten is not less than ten. So that's where the for loop stops. Another thing that we can do is um, if I just create a um, an integer array. So if we say private int array numbers, and we'll initialize it in the constructor. So we'll say numbers equals a new int array, and we'll give it some values. So in uh, curly brackets now we can actually provide some values. So we'll just say ten. 61, 107, 5, uh, 21, 44, 78. So that gives us seven values. What we want to do now is, now that we've initialized this numbers variable, um, this uh, integer array of seven values, we want to print out these values. So we just have to modify this for loop slightly, rather than, as we said, printing out, having you know, several system out print line methods, you know, having set the seven system dot out dot print line 
um, calls separately, we can do it like this. So we can say int i equals zero. So we want to keep this as it is because if we initialize it to zero, the first thing it's going to call is numbers index zero, which we know is correct because arrays start at index zero. So then we say i is less than, instead of 10, because there aren't 10 numbers here, there's only seven. So we could write something like numbers dot length. So this will say, we know that numbers dot length is seven because there's seven items in here. So the, the size of the array will be seven. So it's, what it's gonna say is as long as i is less than seven, so in other words, up to six, and we know that index, the highest index in an item of seven, and uh, sorry, a, an array of seven values, the highest index would be six. And of course, we only want it to go up by one each time. So we want to go from index zero to one to two to three. We can leave this as it is. We can leave the system print outline. So in terms of the, uh, within the parameters, we need to say numbers, square brackets, i. So this is going to say, so the first time that it runs int i equals zero, i here is gonna be zero. So it's gonna look for number zero, which is 10. Goes around the second time, it prints out um, numbers one, which is 61. Then it prints out numbers two, which is 107. So let's do an example of this. And let's, so we've created an instance. We're now gonna run the print numbers method again. And you can see that it's printed out 10, 60, 107, 5, 21, 44, and 78. So that's basically it for that. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.